Hey guys, I don't want to hear about the shirt. I know I wore this in another video already. I know that I'm showing too much skin and this is a, a rated E for everyone video. Okay, let's get right into it. Uh, this is another custom e-bike build. I didn't mean to start this video off so confrontational, but I'm John Nerd Out. I'm a confrontational guy and I'm a custom e-bike builder in that order. Okay, let's get right into it. This is a specialized Cirrus. This is a road bike. Um, this thing is built for speed. It's super light. It's like half carbon fiber. I keep saying carbon fiber. Carbon fiber, like this part, the whole rear triangle, I think, I think all of this is carbon fiber. Then this is aluminum. So, you know, normally I wouldn't want to mount anything to a carbon fiber frame. Ooh, that's hard to say. This one was fine because this is all aluminum. But generally carbon fiber frames don't want to do it too. So yeah, this is this is a speed bike. Especially we put a BBS HD motor, it's a thousand watt mid-drive motor that's nominal rated. Uh, it's paired with a 52 volt, 17 and a half amp hour battery with Samsung cells. Um, we got a DPC 14, 850, however you want to pronounce it. It's got a throttle, uh, mechanical brake levers. We, we upgraded that, switched out the handlebars or the hand grips with some upgraded uh, premium hand grips. We got a, a gear shift sensor on it because this is a mid drive and that just acts like an automatic clutch so that when you're shifting gears, it just cuts power for a minute so you, your chain can get into the next gear and then power can continue. And just like on a car, if you got a clutch, manual transmission, you're not gonna be laying on the gas with grinding through your gears. Cause just like that, this whole system here does not like a lot of power being put to it while it's trying to move. So if you've ever like stood up on your bike and tried to shift gears when you're climbing a hill and you just hear it like just getting mangled back there, like it's not good. That's how you break chains. So you don't want to do that. Um, if you find yourself breaking chains with a mid drive, probably because you don't have a gear shift sensor or you're not shifting correctly. Besides that, you should not be breaking chains with a mid drive if you're riding it correctly. I'm going to be making another video just on that topic. So stay tuned. Oh yeah, we also put a Planet bike. This is the uh, spring saddle. So it's got the, you don't know if you can see, but it's got springs on it. So this is a really comfortable ride. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do a uh, Johnny Nerd Out test on this. All right, and you can see this is with like a 50% charge. So obviously fully charged, this is gonna have a little bit better performance. So yeah, if you're looking for something to like tour, like this bike would be great for covering long distances. With these tires, you're like on ice skates. So you're just gonna be gliding through the pavement. This thing is just gonna cut through the pavement. It's probably not gonna be super comfortable though, if you're gonna be going over rough pavement or any type of gravel or any, any type of off-roading, this is probably not the bike for it but pavement and bike paths, this thing is gonna just be super efficient on it. So your range is gonna go up. No matter what kind of battery you have, you get tires like these, you're gonna improve your range on your bike. But it's, it comes at a cost, you know, there's no free lunch in life. So you want range or do you want comfort? Usually, you know, you get a big fat tire bike with dual suspension, your range is just gonna go But your comfort, it's gonna be probably a pretty comfortable bike, especially if you put, you know, those handlebars up. Anyways, that's another topic for another video. So hopefully you guys like this one. Let me know if you have any questions. See you later.